All right, for this mnemonic, I'm going to be talking specifically about hyperkalemia. There's multiple mnemonics I'm going to discuss, but I want to give a definition of what hyperkalemia is first. So hyperkalemia is elevated potassium in the blood. Typical normal levels are 3.7 to about 5.2 milliequivalents per liter. So a lot of things can cause this to occur. Um, for example, in acidosis and cellular destruction, potassium shifts from inside the cell to the bloodstream, which can cause this hyperkalemia. Medications and kidney damage can also decrease your excretion of potassium, therefore increasing your serum potassium. Um, also, excessive intake of potassium. Um, so a lot of things can really alter this. Something that you do want to be aware of with potassium abnormalities is potassium is necessary for the transmission of electrical impulses in your heart and skeletal muscles. Therefore, if you have hyperkalemia, this can cause EKG changes. Um, so it's really, really important that if you're noticing a patient that's having these weird, funky EKG things going on, take a peek at your labs and see when the last time they had a BMP or a CMP drawn and see what what their potassium is can really tell you a lot about what's going on. Um, so there's a couple mnemonics I want to go over that'll help you remember some of the things related to hyperkalemia. So this is a mnemonic to remember the causes of hyperkalemia. So the mnemonic is machine, M-A-C-H-I-N-E. So M, medications. Things like ACE inhibitors, NSAIDs, and potassium sparing diuretics can all increase the potassium. So, me machine, M, medications. A, acidosis. So, metabolic and respiratory acidosis, like I said, that can cause hyperkalemia. So, A, acidosis. C, cellular destruction. So, burns, traumatic injuries, hemolysis, cellular destruction, C. H, hypoaldosteronism, or Addison's disease. H, I, intake, so an excessive intake of potassium. N, nephrons, renal failure. N, nephrons, renal failure. E, excretion impaired, so they're having problems getting rid of their potassium. So, machine medications, acidosis, cellular destruction, hypoaldosteronism, intake, nephrons, and excretion. All things that can cause hyperkalemia. Next thing I want to talk about are some of your signs and symptoms of hyperkalemia. Murder, M-U-R-D-E-R. M, muscle weakness. U, urine. So oliguria, anuria. R, respiratory distress. D, decreased cardiac contractility. E, ECG changes. Remember we were talking about e ECG changes with hyperkalemia. And R, reflexes. Hyperreflexia or A, reflexia. They're flaccid. So murder. M, U, R, D, E, R. Muscle weakness. Urine. Respiratory distress. Decreased cardiac contractility. EKG changes, and reflexes. Next thing I want to talk about with hyperkalemia is the management. AIRD, A-I-R-E-D. AIRD. Administer IV calcium. This immediately decreases the cardiac toxic toxicity that occurs with hyperkalemia. Um, I, increase excretion. So you want to give stuff to excrete the potassium via, via, whether that be via stool like KX late or via urine like some diuretics. So I, increase excretion. R, remove sources of potassium. So you're removing all IV, oral, everything all sources of potassium so your take if they're on TPN you got to look because a lot of TPN will have some potassium in there are there is are they getting enteral nutrition that has potassium in there or are they eating a bunch of bananas you got to remove sources of potassium 
E, enhance potassium uptake into the cell. So you want to increase pulling potassium from outside the cell to inside the cell. And what does that? Insulin, glucose, sodium bicarb, um, beta adrenergic antagonists as well. So E, enhanced potassium uptake into cells. And the last thing is dialysis. This is an emergent response for patients with lethal hyperkalemia. So D, dialysis. Aired, administer IV calcium. I, increase excretion. R, remove sources of potassium. E, enhance potassium uptake into the cells. And D, dialysis. This has been another episode of the Nursing Mnemonics Podcast by NRSNG.com with your host, Katie Kleber, RN, CCRN. To grab all of our nursing cheat sheets, head over to NRSNG.com slash freebies. That's NRSNG.com slash freebies. Thank you so much for being here today. We love you guys. We thank you so much. We want to see you guys succeed. Listen, we're all in this together. Now go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.